Hey everybody, good morning to you. Thank you for joining me out here. It's a beautiful nature spot. I came out this morning and it was very early and there was nobody in the parking lot. Uh, I have seen nobody on the trail today and I can tell that there's nobody out here. It's just nature, it's me, it's whatever planes fly overhead. But it's been a very nice morning, a really nice way to reboot after um, a very busy couple days. And I have a very busy couple days ahead of me. So I'm very appreciative of this time that I have out here in nature with Mama Earth. Uh, I have some guidance for the group, for the collective today. I wanted to share a little analogy that came through at the top. Um, when I checked in with guidance today, I got this little message about allowing uh, life to simply just unfold and uh, allowing us to organically grow into exactly what we are. And the analogy was like, if you took just a handful of seeds, so let's say all of us watching this, uh, hearing this message today are like a, a handful of seeds and we don't know what kind of seed we are. We don't know what kind of seeds are in our hand, right? But if we plant ourselves in a spot, we sit down for a sec and we shine a little light on the subject and we nourish those seeds uh, with a little bit of uh, emotional nourishment. We water them, so to speak. I know this is a very cliche analogy, but it's just so simple. <laughs> Uh, if we plant ourselves, we shine a light, some sun on it, we water the seeds. What unfolds is really kind of a joyful surprise. So each seed will sprout into something completely different. Um, and there's a process of discovery on the way, right? So what it felt like to me is recognizing that a little bit of this journey for us is like uh, we're a seed and we're not quite sure what kind of seed we are maybe at the beginning of our journey. But the more time we spend shining a light on who and what we are, the more time we nourish it, uh, we nourish it emotionally, we water it, so to speak. Um, what's going to unfold is we're going to find we're um, uh, um, maybe we're a tomato seed and we spring into tomatoes. Maybe we're a mint seed and we spring into mint or maybe we're a mighty oak and we spring into a mighty oak. But all of them are unique and different in their own way and they're going to organically grow into exactly what they are without pushing, without trying, without doing. So inside of us, you know, uh, there's this little seed of what I like to call God's loving awareness, God's creative, compassionate intelligence. And that's a, a connection that we have. That's something that's inside of us. And so I think in our spiritual practice, it's up to us to to plant ourselves, to be still, like I like to say, um, to shine a light on ourselves, to nourish that part of ourselves, that that loving awareness that's inside of us, and then spring, and then allow that to spring into whatever expression of loving awareness that's going to be, whatever that looks like. Whether it's a mighty oak, whether it's a pine tree, whether it's a sequoia, whether it's a mint tree or a mint uh, plant, or you know whatever. So just a little analogy to think about and to consider. Um, for this week. The other guidance that wanted to come through very specifically, I kind of went through and just asked a couple simple questions. One, like what is the energy carrying in into this week? Like what's coming up for us headed into this week? Uh, where are we in our power this week? What are some unconscious influences? And then where is this all going? So four kind of simple little framings to help us um, with the energetic guidance uh, that wanted to come through. And the thing that I got at the top was uh, the energy to bringing us into this week. Um, what I saw was, uh, to me, communicating emotional blocks. So any emotional blocks that we've been experiencing, any emotional blocks that we have become aware of, uh, any emotional resistance or things that we're feeling, uh, there's something about that being very present as we come into this week. The good news in is uh, where are we in our power and what I saw was the ability to see things clearly. So to see things for what they are, to see things clearly, to see beyond the block is strong with us if we're willing to step into that flow, to step into that vibration, to step into that potentiality. So this message comes through or this potentiality is offered up right now here in this moment along with the other information about the blocks because if we so choose, we can now see some of these blocks a little more clearly we can acknowledge and engage with them from an objective point of view and the unconscious influences are we're going to have to articulate what that is so 
uh, when this comes through in guidance for people, uh, often I will talk about journaling is a very, is obviously a great and a safe way to um, see what's coming up a little bit more clearly to express something that maybe we're not that comfortable expressing yet. It can be really hard to put words to something, uh, especially if there's block, uh, any kind of emotional block or energetic block or trauma or anything in the past. Um, sometimes it's really, really hard to speak our truth and sometimes uh, it's hard to get the words out or our voice cracks and it shakes or our throat gets scratchy and dry and we can literally barely eat the words out. And if that's the case, writing and journaling is a really great way to get that process started. Uh, but the important part is always going to be to articulate it. So what was coming through is our ability to actually speak the word and to allow the vibration of the words of our truth to speak to the clarity of what we're seeing and what we're experiencing actually needs to come out. So uh, part of the unconscious influences or maybe something that we're going to want to pay attention to is really looking at our ability to articulate what is this emotional block? What is, where am I feeling resistance? And then being able to say, oh, but this is the vision I see. This is what I see clearly. This is what I see beyond it. This is what is the truth on the other side of this. Being able to give words to those things are going to be really, really important right now. Um, like an example is uh, something actually came up yesterday. And uh, I really was called to... to give some words, uh, to bring some words to some, some resistance, uh, but also just like a really deep seated, uh, emotional response that I needed to give words to. So, uh, I did that. <laughs> I took a second. Uh, I had a moment, uh, where this information came in and I took a second and my initial instinct was like, Ugh, that doesn't quite feel right. I don't know about that. So then I had to give it a pause. I even checked in. I actually turned to my cards. I did a quick little couple grounding breaths. I did a couple energy clearing breaths. I uh, pulled some tarot cards uh, just for a quick check in. And I looked at the energy around what was coming up. And I'm like, okay, got it. That's what I'm feeling. That makes sense. Called this person and um, uh, we had a conversation, which was good. Um, she was super understanding. Um, and I just expressed kind of what was coming up for me and uh, why I was not comfortable with uh, this particular thing that came up. So it was really good. Uh, this was work related, um, which is which for me came, has been a challenge in the past. It's been a really it's been a challenge sometimes if you feel like you're gonna um, if you're kind of messing with somebody's flow or uh, you feel like you're you're messing up the plan a little bit. Uh, that can be tough sometimes, at least for me, that's been tough to articulate. So um, that was something that came up uh, late yesterday and it feels very, very, uh, very resonant with what is coming through in today's uh, guidance for the collective. So the good news is where there are blocks, where there is resistance, where there are hangups, uh, we can see them clearly. We're going to have to trust that we can see them clearly. We're going to rely on the fact that we can see those things clearly. And then that next step is going to be able to, uh, the opportunity for growth, uh, that thing that's percolating in the unconscious is words that got to come out, things that we have to express, uh, giving voice to our vision and what we see um, and where we think we're going. That was another important dimension of that conversation I had last night. I, I just had to say uh, this part, this, this part of my work is something is in the past and I'm moving beyond that and I'm moving a new direction. And so, uh, publicly I want to continue to push that new direction, um, and, and to continue to sort of, uh, allow myself to grow kind of like that analogy that was coming in earlier, allowing myself to grow into exactly what I am <clears throat> rather than being trapped in a, in a career or a work box that is, that is old and now, um, and maybe that I've outgrown a bit. So, um, Maybe that's an example that can be helpful for you. So as we move forward, the good news is the ability to uh, see our truth clearly, to speak our truth clearly, and then to then walk that path uh, that we see into our higher truth is there for us. So do some reflecting this week. If you have an opportunity this week, um, maybe journal, or I really am a big fan of like voice notes or what I'll call what I call voice journaling. Uh, or video journaling where you just do it for yourself. 
you give words to what's coming up, whether that's uh, uh, resistance that you're feeling or emotional blocks or uh, things that are coming up and giving voice to what you think the answer is, what you think the solution is, or checking in with guidance and asking for clarity and asking for vision. Obviously, so much of my work is revolves around intuitive guidance and, and meditation and asking for, for vision. So uh, where we are in our power, I said that we can see things clearly. So if you feel like you cannot get your, uh, if you don't see the vision clearly, how to get around the block, so to speak, maybe consider getting into meditation, you know, asking some questions. We're gonna meditate together Thursday night. You can shoot me a direct message for the links. Uh, it'll be 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And it'll be a wisdom seeking session uh, like I facilitated before. But it might be a great opportunity if you see this video today and you recognize, yeah, there's some stuff, there's some resistance or some blocks that are coming up. Um, and maybe if you can't see the vision clearly, even though that's what came through is where we're in our power, uh, maybe it's time to lean into our meditation, our intuition practice, to lean on loving awareness, to lean on God and our spirit guides and say, okay, I know this is coming up. I know there's a clear way past through around or to the other side of this. So can we reveal what that is? Can, can you bestow me with some clarity, with some vision? And that can be revealed to us. So something to consider. Uh, let me know in the comments below if uh, this is helpful to you, if you wanna discuss or talk about uh, anything that's coming up, um, or if there's vision that you do wanna articulate, feel free to use uh, the post as a safe space to, to express some of your vision and your truth and your ideas and what you're seeing. Uh, how you get to the other side of the things that maybe feel blocked up or maybe you feel a little bit of resistance to. Uh, let me know. I hope that uh, this morning's little analogy and this guidance, the energy guidance that came through today is helpful to you. Uh, as always, you can drop a tip uh, in the Venmo tip jar at the Bomberger on Venmo. It is, uh, there is no obligation, but donations are certainly appreciated and, and most certainly accepted. Uh, I appreciate your time, your energy, and, and your attention here. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a great uh, rest of your week, and I look forward to seeing some of you in Austin, uh, Austin, Texas, this weekend at the Body, Mind, Spirit Expo. I'll be doing a Be Still and Listen intuition and meditation workshop from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Saturday, the 29th. Uh, I'll be doing readings all day from 10 to 6 p.m. as well. Uh, on Saturday and Sunday, uh, we're going, I think, from 11 to 6. I'll be doing uh, intuitive readings at the Body, Mind, Spirit Expo in Austin, Texas. So if you're in Austin, come by and say hi. I would love to see you, meet you, read for you, work with you, and, and grow and evolve together. So have a great day, everybody. See you soon.